Batman number 340, which was published in 1981, was one of my most favorite Batman stories which I read when I was a kid. I was attracted to the cover showing this monstrous hand emerging from beneath the streets of Gotham and attacking the shocked Batman. The book opens in Gotham with a man walking home after a long day at work. Suddenly, the streets start bulging as a powerful creature makes his way towards the man who tries to run. But whatever is chasing him does not stop until there is nowhere else to run and the man is dragged into the hole. Later, the police department and Commissioner Gordon summon Batman to help them figure out the crime, but Batman is just as confused as they are. The next night, Batman goes out on patrol and listens to a man talking to his psychiatrist. Upon arriving at the place, Batman finds a similar scene with a hole in the ground. The man who witnessed the scene tells Batman that the psychiatrist was dragged into the hole. Batman dives into the hole looking for the responsible. After digging his way through the underground tunnel, he finds a large creature that calls himself the Mole. The creature said that he killed the psychiatrist because he made him this. He attacked Batman who tried to defend himself, but the creature was stronger, remarking that he can see in the dark better than Batman does, and that his skin is as hard as stone. Batman, however, managed to break free thanks to his superior fighting skills, and returned to the surface to tell the police about what he encountered. In the Batcave, Batman finds a connection between the mole and the criminal whose name is Hara, who Batman, Superman, and Robin captured years ago, but has recently escaped. The man was a professional tunnel digger, who was denied parole. The question was, how this criminal became the mole? Batman called the warden at Gotham State Prison and asked him about the suspect. The warden said that after his parole request was denied a month ago, Hara dug himself a tunnel and disappeared. The mole killed two members of the parole board, and it's up to Batman to protect the last member, Sandra Clark, before the mole gets her. The next day, the mole learns through the newspapers that Sandra Clark is going to stay at the Wayne Mansion, so he digs his way to the outskirts of Gotham. A few hours later, the mole finds the cave underneath the mansion and makes his way to the kitchen, where Sarah was taking a midnight snack. The mole confronted Sarah, who recognized his voice. He is Hara, the best digger who ever robbed the bank. He was a legend until he was captured. He was informed that the parole board turned down his request, which meant that he was going to stay in jail for long. He decided to dig his way out of the jail and he succeeded. But as he was trying to escape through the sewers tunnel, glowing sludge which was pouring down the tunnel swept him through the pipes and changed him. He was in horrible pain and everything was burning in his body. He felt like his body was turning inside out and he became the mole. He wanted to take revenge against those who turned down his parole request and forced him to dig his way out of the prison to be swept by this chemical sludge, which destroyed his life and turned him into the mole. Batman, who brought Sarah into his mansion as part of his plan to trap the mole, used a water pipeline to flood the place. He was fully prepared to fight the mole in the darkness where he can see perfectly. He used special goggles to enable him to see in the dark and attack the mole. The enraged mole tried to kill Batman, but the superior fighting skills of the Dark Knight proved to be too much for the criminal to handle. Batman defeated the mole who was swept away through the flooded tunnels. That was one of my most favorite Batman stories from the 80s that could turn into an epic horror anime. Hope you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. Thanks for watching and have a nice one.